Bongeno Melissa, how are you doing? Hi Dave, all is good with me. And how is your family? Alas not so well Dave, they have been inadvertently affected by some recent changes in government policy. Oh that's a shame, I'm here for you, tell me, how have recent social policies affected your family life? Well the first way has been the government's one child policy, this means my parents are reluctant to have another child, because if they do they will be fined by the government. This means no baby brother or sister for me. I feel your pain. Interestingly the Chinese government introduced something similar in the 1980s, they find parents who had more than one child, an advantage of this was, that it controlled population growth. I understand that, but it's unfair, because my neighbors who are richer have had more than one child, they can afford to pay the fine. Yes that is unfortunate, I feel your pain, any other problems? Well my sister's unemployed and pregnant, I think that she may have been encouraged to get herself up the dove because of the overly generous benefits the government gives to lone mothers. It's not doing her, or the rest of society any good. Yes, I feel your pain. Interestingly the new right would agree with you there. But surely it can't be all that bad. The government must have introduced some policies that have worked for you. Well I guess that new Labour's child protection laws mean that I feel safer as a child. Yes, I guess so. We now live in a child-centered society after all. You younglings never had it so good. Also, taking a longer-term view the Equal Pay Act has meant both of my parents work. This is inspiring for me as a young Berling. This provides me with a positive career woman role model. Indeed, Giddens and Beck believe that increasing gender equality has been the most important change affecting family life in recent years. However, one consequence of greater gender equality was the Divorce Act of 1969, so although government policies outside the family have led to greater gender equality, this has also meant more instability in family life. You strike me as something of a pessimist, Melissa. I prefer to think of myself as critically minded, Dave. Okay, so to summarize, some government policies affect family life negatively, such as the one-child policy and welfare payments to lone parents. Although whether they are negative effects is a matter of opinion. Of course. And yet general positive effects of government policies are greater equality between the genders in domestic life and more protection for children. Yes, although some people would argue that children are too controlled today. Quite. Anyway, perhaps you should just stop moaning. No man wants a moany old bear after all. Okay Dave thanks for the advice. I'll just stop talking and stand here looking pretty.